are holding in the middle of we're holding in the middle of uh, the, this is the last of the hard sugyas. Um Tomorrow's sugi, of course, it's a Friday. Very gishmak sugi of Taif Kedai Dibor. Always happens that it comes out on a Friday. But, uh, okay, but uh, right now we're handling the, the sugi that we're talking about is when can a, can a person, can a husband or can anybody be makdash davash alav meaning something that has not yet come into the world, can he make that into hektash? What does it have to do with our sugya? Because our sugya was saying that nedarim, nedarim is the same thing as davash alav She's She's making a nether, this, this woman, this wife, she's making a nether that her husband cannot benefit from her. So from her benefits that she's going to eventually earn. Right? So that's l'chara davash alav so the, the Gemara left off on the bottom <coughs> of, of Pei Hei Oma Beis, that it doesn't mean, she didn't make a nether on her actual, the things that come out from her hands. She made, she made her hands into hektish. How exactly that works, I don't know exactly how that works, but she basically made her hands into hektish, which basically means what her hands, what are going to be created by these hands is going to be hektish, but right now it's just the hands that are hektish. So that's what we have said. And, see, and she had said that when is, when is it going to become hectic? Because she can't be mocked as her hands. They belong to her husband. So how is she mocked as her hands? So we said that she meant that when she gets divorced, that's when she's going to be mocked as her hands. All right? So then, so that's, uh, so the Gemara had asked on that. So if that's the case, but right now she's not divorced. Right? And who says that you can do that? Who says that a woman, when she's married, can say, sure. by the way, if I get divorced, anything that, anything that I work with my hands is not going to, you're not allowed to benefit from, which would then mean that the man cannot remarry her, right? Because he's not allowed to benefit from her. Meaning when she's married to him, she can't make this nether because she's mechuyim. She's meshubit to him. But after that, she's not meshubit once they get divorced, right? So then, Rav Ila, this is what we left off on the top of, uh, on the top of, of, uh, <coughs> so we said, Amar Rav Ila, so Rav Ila said, Oma Ilu, right, that was our Groy Sahara, Oma Ilu, I mean, now this is, this entire, like, like Akiva pointed out yesterday, this entire Gemara is, is a repeat from Ksubas, um, I can't say I remembered the whole thing. Certainly, I did not remember. I had an episode, inkling, an inkling of this of this Gemara. Uh, it wasn't even that long ago, right? It was Daf Nun Tes and Super. So, what are we talking? We're talking six months ago. Uh, yeah, uh, give or take six months ago. All right. So, Amar of Ela. Yaakov. I'm yeah. sorry. What you just what you just said. So this morning, I remember what, what I said over the Mishnah Brewer about Megillah. And yeah. I was so excited that I remembered it from Purim. And I, after I said it, I said to myself, my Reb Chaim knew Kola Tarakula. I mean, let's just say like, like that. He was able to say, oh, you, you know. Like, you could say it like that. It's, just, it's, it's staggering. It's like totally <laughs> staggering. And imagine, you know, and, and yeah. And the other wants to know like how he kept himself um, like, uh, how do you have a good time? What do you mean? When you know that much, <laughs> right? It's gishmak. It's actually gishmak. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Anyways. So Rav Ila said, Uma ilu What happens if a guy would tell his friend, Sada zushani meaning a guy is, is down and out for his money. Right? So he says, um, you know, I need to sell this field to you. Because I need the cash. He says, but when I buy it back from you, when I get the cash and I buy it back from you, I'm making it hectic. So, when I take it from you, it's going, I'm going to be maktish. Is it not hectic? Right? Meaning, right now, when he owned the field, he made it hectic. He's saying, right now, I'm making this field hectic. Oh, I'm selling it to you. Right? That's fine. When you have it, it's not hectic. But right when it comes back, when I get to buy it back from you, it's hectic. Right? So Rav Ila is saying that this is the same case as a woman answering what, what she makes with her hands on her husband. Right? 
even though right now, right? Meaning her, she owns her hands. Who owns her hands? I mean, the woman owns her hands. The husband has the right to whatever her hands create, right? So, so there's, she has something which is her hands, but she doesn't have something which is she doesn't have a right to what her hands create, right? This guy that makes, the, that makes his field into hectish has the field, but then he's going to lose the field. So each one has a strength and a, how do you call it? The strength and a weakness. Right, so Mamela of is saying it's the same thing. So just like this guy, who's going to be getting rid of his field, can make his field into hectic right now, and it'll chal be chal later. So this woman too, even though she does not have rights over what her hands have, are created right, but she will have it when she gets divorced, and therefore it's it's allowed. Fine. So then muscular you know we're going to go back and forth now four times here. Well, I, well, it's two two back and forth. So muscular of Yirmi and me dummy. Right? Who can, who, can you compare these two cases? In the case where the guy says, I'm selling you the field. Right now, when he's, before he sells this field, and he, and he says, I'm gonna, when I get it back, it's probably hectic. Right now, it's in his hands. Is, well, I'm sorry, he has a question. Can she make her I mean, can a woman say on her way out to to work, she tells her husband, by the way, anything I work today is becoming hectic. She allowed to do that? She can't do that, right? So how can you call the two cases the same? Again, the guy making the field into hectic, right now he owns the field. The woman right now does not own her hands. I mean, she owns her hands. She doesn't own the products that her, her hands create. What is this case similar to? It would be similar to a guy who tells his friend, the field that I, I, I sold to you before, when I buy it from you, it's going to be hectic. Me, Kitsha, is anybody going to think that it's hectic? Meaning he's the way, the way Rav Yirmi is saying, <laughs> your case of the lady, you'd have to compare it to a different case. I sold my house to somebody a year ago. Then I go and say, by the way, I'm buying the house back from you. And when I buy it back from you, it's becoming hectic. You think that field becomes, that house becomes hectic right now? No way. It's not his. So the same thing. The woman is making her, what her hands are going to produce into, into hectish. How could it be? She doesn't own her hands. So you can't compare the two cases. So the male of the question comes back is how could it be that a woman can make her maizida into hectish? So Maskala Rapapa, so Rapapa asks Akasha on Rav Yirmiya, who was asking Akasha on Rav Ila. Me dummy. Are you going to compare the two cases? Gabi Zvina, Psika Milsayu. When when somebody sells it, it's Psika, it's a psak, right? Meaning the guy who bought the field, it's his. There's nothing to talk about. The field belongs to him, the fruits belong to him, everything belongs to him. Gabi Isha, me psika milsa by a woman. Is everything so cut and dry? Is everything so so obvious? Right? Um, she still owns her hands. When the man, again, we keep going back and forth the same concept. It's, it's, we keep saying that really her hands are, don't belong to her. But on the other hand, they do belong to her. You can't say that her hand, a husband can't chop off his wife's hands, right? Even though he owns her hands. So it's not clear cut. You can't say it's like a field, right? You can't say it's like a field. When you sell somebody a field, so the guy owns the field in the Paris, hush it, right? When a woman sells herself to a man, out to a wife, Yes, he has her hands. He has whatever her hands produce, but her hands belong to herself. So you can't keep keep comparing them back and forth. I'll just read it again. When you sell a field or a house, it's done. It's a psak. The guy owns the field and he owns the fruit. But by a woman, is it is it a psak? What are you going to compare it to? You compare it to a case, a guy who says to his friend, Sada Zu, so a mashkin, right? We, we know what a mashkin is. I borrow money from a guy. Every, every mortgage is a mashkin, basically. Let's, without getting into technicals. But essentially, a mortgage, right, is you give me the money, uh, give me some money, the bank gives me money, and I'm telling the bank, you can have my house, right? So now, who owns the house? So that's Stama, big hot. Stama, we'll get back to that in a second, the, the practical hot of this. But um, 
Basically, I borrow money from you and I give you my field as a mashka. So now, really, who owns the field? So I own the field. I gave it to you as a mashka. So maybe, what happens if I make it hectish? So that's what he's saying. That's what we're talking about. The woman is similar to a field that you make a mashka. So this is field that I made as a mashkin, like a chef, then I'm in hot takdish. He says, when I'm going to be part of that field, I'm making it hectish. Me like kitchen, is it not hectish? Right? Of course it would be hectish. Again, I borrow money from somebody and then, and I give him a mask in my field. And then I say, by the way, when I pay back the loan, I'm taking that field and I'm making it hectish. So right now it becomes hectish because it's my field. I just gave it to you just as a, as a collateral to make sure that, uh, you know, you're covered if I default on the loan. Right, so that's what the same thing with the woman is doing. The woman owns her hands. She gave it to the husband as a mashkin. Right, she's giving it to the husband as a mashkin. Right now, so she can say, when I take back my mashkin, which is when she gets divorced, then she could, then she she could be matishit. So she could be matishit right now. Right, so this actually plays into: Do you make shechiyonu when you buy a house nowadays? When you buy a new house nowadays, you make a shechiyonu on the house. Should I yeah. elephant ask that they're a bick? Uh, and he said, call me back in 30 years when you get rid of your partner. Ah, uh, very good. Meaning the mortgage. For the right. yeah. Meaning the mortgage. By the way, right. Siakam, that's what you told me when I bought my house. There you go. There you go. Right. So, so, um, but the what's up shot? Because they're not, the they're, this Gemara is not cared from that. Well, again, you have to know how the technicals work with the mortgage industry, et cetera, et cetera. But let's just, let's just talk about it for a second, how this works. Meaning, I gave the field as a mashman so I could have money. Yeah. It's a little different because you're not, you're living in the, you're still living in the house. Masha'en came with a mashkin. You're not really in the field anymore. Okay, so it's not exactly comparable, but it, but it does, that, but that's where it does play in. Is do you own the house or does the bank own the house? If the bank owns the house, or is it even of shutu, then you can't make shechiyonu on your house. There are many places that hold that you could make shechiyonu. I once told a guy that you can't. Oh, and this guy started collecting opinions all over town against me. Now this one and that one, and like, listen, what should I tell you? It's a suffix bracha. So you want to really make the shechiyonu to get yourself a fruit. And make shechiyano on the fruit with the house, even though I don't make shechiyano on fruit either. I got I told him, but, but if that's what you want to do, I mean, it's a suffix bracha. As many places can say that you don't say shechiyano on a house because you don't own it, right? Okay. So anyway, so that's what so that's so that's what the Gemara is saying now. Okay. So mask a little shisha When you make the last mortgage payment, you should make the bracha according to everyone. No, because, you know, because it's too late. You've been living in the house for thirty years, right. so it's not new. But now you own it. Now you bought it, but right, but it's it's not new to you. It's fine. It's it's used. <laughs> mortgage. I'm, I'm telling mortgage. you, make a borrow of Shepherd's Rani at that point. That's right. Right. The mortgage in America, at least, the mortgage is not that strong of a lien because if you don't pay the taxes, the tax man comes before the mortgage, and the tough luck on the mortgage company. So the the you don't have a. It's, it's not it's not the same as a as a mashkin. Uh, the bank has an interest in it, but uh, it's it's limited. It's limited. If you don't pay what the, if you don't pay and you and you and you are over on that, so it's a little bit different. But they have they have to they have to go through it's the same all. thing. It's just the mashkin to, to the country also. And say it again. It's a mashkin to the government also. But you have to pay your taxes just like anywhere else. But the tax man comes. Comes. I don't I don't think so. I, I don't, okay, that's where you get this is the machikis. No, we have it right here live and in person. This is the machikis over whether you own your house or you don't own your house. Is so anyways, between the bank, bottom line is between the bank and your wife, you don't own your house. Right? <laughs> you are the third lien holder, all right. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> okay. It's questionable if I own my wife either. <laughs> okay, that's a, for her sake. That's a good thing. <laughs> Sitting right here. Okay, so maskular of shisha braid the ravidi, right? Um, six lines over in the bottom. So Rav shisha braid the ravidi asked the kasha on to Rav Papa, right? 
Me, Dami, are you going to say it's similar? Sada biyadi laftaisa, a field. He has it in his hand to be paid whenever he wants. Let's say the guy wins the lottery. So he can go over to the guy and says, hey, you know that loan that I took from you? I got one the lottery. Here's the money. I want my field back. And he has to give it back to him, right? Because the, he borrowed the money and he gave him the field as a collateral. He says, now I'm paying you back. Give me back the field. The guy doesn't have a choice. Isha biyadi laftaisa. Does a woman, does it have, does she have within her power to get divorced? A woman what was the Gemara decide time? when she wants to get divorced. What was right? that? I mean, up until this point, the Gemara was actually going back and forth. Was, was, there's was Svaras back and forth. Why would the Gemara think 10 years would be somehow be a dimya? Well, we're not up to the 10 years yet. So that's, well, that's next. But, uh, no. you, I mean, why? Yeah. I mean, what's the Habamina? What's the Habamina? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm sorry, it was the, yeah, it's the next piece. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's see how it goes. Let's see, we'll get yeah. to in a second. So, anyways, so he's saying it's, it's not similar. A woman is not it's not in her power to get divorced. What's this similar to? To somebody who says to a friend, he says, I'm giving you this field for 10 years. Right? Um, meaning they made a deal. It's your field for 10 years. Now, a lot of a lot of times the way they made the deal was is that they gave him the field and they told him, work the field for 10 years and all the payers go to you and then I take the, then then I'm, my loan is done with. I think it's above a basra. I don't remember. All right, but that was one of the ways of paying back a loan. You had a field and you needed money. So you gave the guy the field. You told the guy, yeah, listen, do the crops for 10 years and then I'm taking back my field and I'm not paying you back. That's That was a way of paying back. I don't know if that's exactly what this one is talking about. But basically, he says to him, I'm giving it to you for 10 years. So, and when I'm going to be paid from you, then it's going to be hectish. Me like kitcha. Is it not? Is it not hectish? Right? He, he, of course, it's hectish because it's going to, we know it's going to automatically be his, be his in 10 years. Right? It's the same thing with the, with the nether from the, from the wife. Right? Even, even though she can't get her hands now because she doesn't have control over when she gets divorced, but the bottom line is she can theoretically at some point take back control. So if that's the case, then therefore it's uh, hers. Again, I don't understand it exactly because who says she's ever going to take back control? What happens if the husband is adamant he's not divorcing his wife? I mean, Thank it's Yago, that's the Gemara's next passion. But that's what I'm saying. Well, what was the Havim here? No, no, but that's not. I, no, that's what I'm trying to. I'm basically asking, what is the Gemara's habit? Right, that's what I, I, Gemara, I'm asking. The Gemara is asking a little. The next question is asking a little different. The point is that it's not in her hands. What? At the end of the day, the Gemara's kash At the end of the day, is it's not in your hands. It's, it's like kai. It's not in your hands. Correct. Yeah. The Gemara yeah. has a habit meaning that since there's a possibility that you could could whatever, even though it's not in your, even though it's not kai, it's it's still be other. Because there right. is a possibility. Right. I don't know. I, I guess yeah. not being. I don't know. It, it, it has to be some sort. Um, see, the way the, the fighter says it is she doesn't know when she's get, going to get divorced. What does that mean? She doesn't know if she's getting divorced at all. Right. Right. That's the way the round learns it up. She hasn't really at all. Right. So I don't know. But anyways, again, the Gemara is saying that we can try and compare a woman saying that when she gets divorced, she's going to be mocked as her hands is the same way as the guy who says, you're having my field for 10 years and then I'm taking it back, right? So since he knows he's going to get it back, he can be mocked as shit. So the same thing we want to say with the woman because she knows she's going to get herself back so she can be mocked as shit, to which the Gemara immediately asks, Maskal or Ravashi, on the bottom line now, on the on, paper, uh, on the Me, dummy. One second, let me just do the question. Me, dummy, Hassan Kayets. Right or kits, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. Kits, it's not kites, kites is the summer or kits, I guess. Right, me, dummy, hustle kits there by the field. There's a set time the guy knows I'm giving you the field as collateral for 10 years. He knows that in 10 years he's getting it back. Finished, there's no legally, it's his. Isha, me, isla kitsusa. Does a woman have a, a time that she knows she has no idea when she's getting divorced and she doesn't know if she's even getting divorced, right. So how can you comp compare the two cases? What do you want to say, Gershon? Well, Stam, I was going to make a, an interesting order. The last two Moskvs, so uh, Rav and Rav Shishu Ravidi, 
it's an interesting insight into what the word maskif means. I'm not sure anymore. They're I'm on the sure same either. side. They're on the same side. Correct. He's not asking on him like he got the din wrong. Yeah. He got the din correct. Your marshal was wrong. But it's the same maskifs. Go back to go back to Ksuvis Nuntes on the YouTube. I think we discussed it. I don't know why. Oh, I mean, I mean, it could be we discussed it in a different sugi, so I have no recollection. But I know that there was a bunch of maskifs. I'm just assuming it was this. It's the same thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the same. So I'm just yeah. assuming that we, 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 I don't think we said shot. I don't think we said shot. But why you keep saying maskif, maskif, maskif? It's not, it's, it's not really your classic maskif. Okay, but anyways, we're up to the maskonas hadvarim. On to the base now. Elam Ravashi. Like we always say, the word Ella means erase everything till now. New Teretz. All right, Elam Ravashi. Parrots, if you wouldn't be driving, you get the Hanov turning over the Omen and seeing that it's only about 10 lines. Yes. Elam <laughs> Ravashi. So Ravashi um, said that what's a shot here? Shani Kainomas. Kainomas, you can't, is different. Kainomas is totally different. Why? When you make a kainam, when you make a shvua, we're saying, right, we've said that making a, uh, not a shvua, a nether, when you make a nether, it's similar to making something hectish. So we're saying, yes, it's similar to making something hectish, but there's two types of hectish. There's kedushas haguf and kedushas domin. Kedushas domin just means that you're donating this thing to the base of mikdash but you're not actually giving it to it, right? Let's say I decided to donate my car to the Beis HaMikdash. Now, L'chayr, the Beis HaMikdash does not have a need for a car. So what did I mean by making it hectish? They're not being makr of my car, right? Either way, it'd be a Balmum, but that's a different story, right? <laughs> but uh, they're not being makr of my car. So what are they doing? They're going to sell the car and take the money and give it to the, right? The car goes back to Chulun, and then the money goes to the Beis HaMikdash. But then there's something called Kedushas Haguf, which means that you're in, you're making this thing go to be a carbon. It, you're not you're, you're not being pited, right? No, normally it goes with animals. You could do wheat. You could do uh, um, uh, what else? I guess maybe oil. Oil. No. oil, maybe right? Wine, wine, these type of things. But you're not being you're not being pited. So what we're saying now is that the kedusha, the heck of that heck, the hectish that make a nether makes is like kedusha saguf, and therefore what? Look at the Rava, the Amma Rava, Rava has a big Chiddush. I don't know what's a big Chiddush, but it's, yeah, yes, yeah, so it is a big Chiddush. Hektish, Chometz, B'Shichr, Mafkin, Midei Shibur. If somebody makes something Hektish, if something becomes Chometz, or if he frees a slave, then it will be Mafkia from the Shibur. What does this mean? Normally, what happens is if somebody sells a field, right? Or let's say somebody borrows money, and then he sells a field. So if he can't pay back his loan, that field will go back to his, the guy who lent him the money because he wasn't allowed to lend his, he wasn't allowed to sell his field when he owed somebody else money, right? That's a lien. He had a lien on the field, right? But we're saying that if there was a lien on it, but he made it into hectish, then the lien goes off automatically. Hectish trumps the lien and it, get, and it remains hectish, even though he's not allowed to sell the field. I mean, he could sell the field, but he's going to have to, He's going to have to give it back if he does if he defaults on the loan, right? But if he made it into hectish, no. And if it became Pesach over this time that he gave this, this let's say he gave um, um, cake as a mashkin, or or he or his cake was mashubit. However, he says he said, "But let me money, and I'm going to give you all this cake if you don't if I don't pay you back, right?" And then it becomes then it becomes Pesach. So that also the Isra no of Chometz takes it out from him. And Shikhar is if he gives an Evid, he gives an Evid as a Mashkin. Right? So he gives a, he gives a uh, Evid as a Mashkin, and then he frees the Evid. That also take Mafki and Midei Shibur, that takes away the Shibur. Right? Now this is really an Apoitiki, which is basically, I should have said that first, an Apoitiki, I apologize, an Apoitiki is basically like a Mashkin, but it's a specific field. It's a specific item that you're giving to that. Right? So anyways, so the Mela, um, so since this, since this thing has the Kedushas Haguf, so Mela, the when the woman makes this nether, it becomes Kedushas Haguf, and therefore, um, it's, it's uh, what do you call it? It's, it, whatever, whatever, it becomes like a hectic. The nether becomes a nether and it stays. 
right? When she's making her nether from, from her things, from whatever it is that she's going to create, that creates a sort of like a hectish, a kedusha zaguf. And then Mamela, she is, uh, she is, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's also, it's going to be also onto her husband when she gets divorced, right? Is, is Ravashi saying that that's what the Machloikas Tanakam and Rebekiva versus Rabbi Yagnam and Nuri is? Whether it's like Hektish or whether Kainamis are Hektish Damim or Rabbi Yagnam and Nuri holds Kudush I know. Once said they're having a Machloikas over the, the, uh, the extra money. Whether it's Chal, if it's Chal. Right. So if it's Kedusha Saguf, it should, why is it not Chal? What? If it's, it's if, if Kainamus is Kedusha Saguf, why is this Kainam against your husband, not Chal? It's tomorrow's next question. You mean, you mean the other Shittas? Well, no, the Gemara's yeah, next question. Yeah, on the Tanakhama Rebbe Kiva. How can the Tanakhama Rebbe Kiva argue with this? You mean what are they what are they saying when it doesn't he doesn't even have to be made for it? Right. Even Rebbe Kiva only says on the Hadafa, but on the on the, the regular, yes. there's no nothing. I didn't, yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's not a Kiddush. <laughs> but, no but Seattle, but the Ran the Ran changes how we learn up the Sigya. The Ran says we're not even talking about the money. The Ran says we're talking about the uh, the Malachas yes she has to do for him. Because if it's Mitzah, yeah, okay. the money, it's the Aini Zaini Aisa. Okay, that's a whole different. That's a whole I, different. I know, but my point is that that Baiter ties into what's the Malachi Yisrael be Kibur and Yechem then. Baiter, right? you have yeah. the same question. If we're talking about those Malachas, do Chaylik on, on those Malachas? No, that really, no, it goes to the so husband. Then, sure. What is the Malachi Yisrael? They hold that everything goes to the husband. Everyone holds that she has to do these Malachas to the husband. Yeah. Um, every, yeah, but so what does that have to do with this? Here she's being mocked with it. But I'm, I'm just saying that the, the Ron says that that's what the Rabbi Yechon Manuri is talking about. He can't be talking about them, her doing the locker room because she could just say any, any sign is any Isa. So okay. everyone's masking over there. So if we're talking about those sh- Shabbat Malachas, then is Rabbi Yechon and, and the Tanaka on that? I don't know. I'm Amish didn't think of it till, till Gershon was asking. I'm Amish didn't think, okay, so what does the Tanakama hold? I mean, I'll say, I would say off the bat, they hold that they don't hold that it's Kedusha Zaguf. So that's the Machlegis? That, I thought the Machlegis uh, was about the extra money. That's the way we originally learned it up. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Wait, that's the Machlegis Tanakam and Rebbe But they both are Chaylik and Rebbe and Benduri. What? What like Kiva's talking about is the Machlegis between the Tanakam and Rebbe Kiva, whether it's Chal on the Hadaf or not. But they're both masking that it's not chal on the karen. Right. That's that on that the chal looking to the manuri. So if Ashi is saying that ki kedusha zaguf dami is pshat riyach and manuri, then lechayra he would have to say that the tanakama and Rabbi Kiva both hold kedusha zdamim. Right. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was happy. I just understood it according according to Ravashi. I was that I wasn't going to go in the I hear. But anyway, let, let's just make sure we have it, it clear what the terrorist is. Basically, Ravashi is saying that Kainama becomes Kedusha's Haguf. I don't understand the the, the Svara behind it either. Who says that it should become Kedusha's Haguf? Why? Why? Why should it become such a strong Kedusha? Kedusha's Haguf is strong. You don't trade that in. Right? Okay, whatever it is. So, I mean, I can well, hear it. It could be simple that, that, that she is being maktish her goof, and there's no potential for pidyon. So it's not. It's not like kedushas. It's not like kedushas daman. Yeah. Okay. I, good, but Lamais, you're making it. I, I don't know. If you you can't me, say it's kedushas daman. It can't be kedushas daman. Yeah, yeah. He's saying. Yeah. So the only other option is kedushas goof. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is, but Ravashi is being metaris, and he's saying that making a woman making her hands into a nether is like Kedusha's Haguf. And by Kedusha's Haguf, Rav has a special din that when you say that something is, is going to be earmarked to pay back a loan, that which we call an apoitiki, and you make that into hectish, 
or it becomes chametz, or if the apaytiki that you are, that you uh, the the thing that you made into apaytiki was an eved and you freed the eved, then that takes away the shibud, that knocks out the apaytiki. That's how strong it is. So Mamela, she is also going to knock out her shibud to her husband. But when she makes a neder that that she's being makdish anything from her hands, then she's knocking that out from her husband. She's freeing it from her husband. So now, the Gemara's next kasha is what Rabbi Yechonah ben Nuri had said that the reason why you're allowed to divorce, the reason why he should be made for the nether is because perhaps he's going to divorce her and then the nether is going to kick in and he won't be able to remarry her because he's not going to be able to benefit from her. Who cares? Why, why do you need to say that for? Why do you have to say perhaps she's going to be divorced? Right? It's right away he's going to need to, right away the husband has to be mocked at this nether. I mean, we're saying now that when a woman makes a nether with her hands, it's like Kedusha's HaGuf and like Rava, and therefore it's like it goes away from the, from, from the Apoitiki. So Mela, she gets to keep her own things from her husband. I mean, she made a nether and she gets to keep it, even though the husband is officially the boss. But the same way, Hectish, if you make something hectish as an apoitiki, if you make an apoitiki into hectish, right? Meaning this thing that was earmarked to pay back your loan, and then you go and make it hectish. So then the guy cannot come back to you and say, hey, how'd you make this thing hectish? It belonged to me. So the same thing, when a woman makes a nether not to, not to supply anything to her husband, the husband can't say, hey, you can't do that. It belongs to me. It doesn't work because it's hectish. So therefore, he has to be made for the nether. Not because the, maybe they're going to get divorced and he won't be able to remarry her. Right? It has nothing to do with that. So that's what Gemara says. Tani ve'oid shem yigashana. So learn in the mission of ve'oid. Right? Meaning, first reason they have to, they, he's made for it, the husband, is not, not because maybe they're going to get divorced. No. They, he has to be made for it because she has that power. And then ve'oid. And then you say, even according to you, Rabbanon, who, who hold who don't hold this whole thing, still, maybe he's going to have a problem when he divorces her and he, and he wants to get remarried to her because then the nether is going to kick in. All right? Okay. I hope that was semi-understandable. That's the end of that sugya. And now we have a much more simple sugya. Yeah? So the Mishnah says, Nadra Ishtoi, if his wife makes a nether, but Sava should Nadra Bitoi. And he thought it was his daughter that made the nether. All right? Somebody came running in and said, you know, your daughter made a nether. But it really was his wife, or the opposite, Nadra Bitoi Vesavash and Nadra Ishtoi, or his daughter made a nether, and he thought that it was his wife. Nadra Ben Nazir Vesavash and Nadra Bekarban. She made a nether by Nazir, meaning she made a nether that she's becoming a Nazir, and he thought she made a nether of a carbon. Right? Not that, not that it, they made a nether of a carbon, that she made herself also like a carbon. Nadra Bekarban. Or the opposite. Nadra be carbon, she made a nether as a carbon, the sovra, the sovra, she nadra be nazir. And he, held, he thought she made a nazir. Nadra me ta'inim, she made a nether, she's not eating dates, figs. The sovra, she nadra be nanovim. And he thought that she made a nether, she's not having grapes. Nadra me nanovim, or she made a nether, she's not eating grapes. The sovra, she nadra be nanovim. And he thought that she's making a nether from figs. I raise a yachser, but yachser, he has to go back and be made for the nether again. Right? So basically, the Gemara gives uh, one, two, three, six scenarios. Five scenarios? Six scenarios. Right? All basically saying the same thing, which is that when the, if the husband has the wrong, husband slash father, whoever's being made for the nether, has the wrong information, even though he was made for the nether, it's no good. Why would yes. I think it would be good? What? Why would I think it would be good? I why? have the other way around. I, I don't see why it shouldn't so, be good. <laughs> so he didn't why, hear why, this why, from why, her. Why should it be good? Huh? So he didn't hear this from her. Correct. Well, um, he didn't come home one day from work and she said, I made a net there. Right. He heard it somebody, somebody else, else, a third party is telling him. No, this. love, love, Dafka. No, no, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm not making So I'm stops. saying maybe the, his wife and his daughter have the exact same voice, and he's standing in the other room. All right. So one of them made the net. So he thought his wife made the net, but it was his daughter made the net, or vice versa. 
That's why, why should it be made for it? Does, it's nothing what he did. Well, he's, the Ron learns, the Lons learns it, it's some, uh, other people told him. Sha'am Rulai, that he, it was a third yeah, Okay, part. it doesn't make a difference what the scenario, whatever the scenario is, right? I, I don't understand what you're saying. Bro. I, I couldn't, I, he's being made for the nether. So he got- There's no nether. The he's being made for what? He says, he, uh, you can't fly to, Ca I'm made for, you can't fly to California today. She looks at me, Ms. who when did I say I'm flying to California? What's wrong with no, you? No, because this is a little different. She made a nether. Right? She made a nether, that's for sure. Right. No, no, the first case, not actually. Truth is, in the first okay, case, I hear but, what you're saying. Right? In the first case, he got the wrong person. Right? So that could be, yeah. I hear what you're saying. In the second case, he got the right person. He just got the wrong nether. Meaning he thought it was dates and it was really figs. Or it was uh, not dates, uh, figs. But really, he said so, nothing. He said nothing. What do you mean? He was mata the nether. But it, but it ends up he was mocked to the wrong thing, whether it's the wrong person he or the wrong no, item. So it means nothing. Mater. What happens if a guy says, I'm being mocked to your nadar? And we had that case. The guy, the guy gets married and he says, he says, or before she gets married, the father says, I'm being mocked to everything. And the husband says, we're being mocked to everything. Right? That, that gets into the whole, that gets into the whole sugya of whether you need to know the specific type of nether or not. Right? I'm saying, but the guy is, she made a nether and the guy's being mattered. Right? He's just, he's being mattered the wrong things. I like she didn't make a nether. In the first case, Taka, he got the wrong person. So that I hear. But the other cases, he's being mattered a nether. So he got it wrong here, there. Okay. Obviously, that's, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm in the wrong here because <laughs> I don't understand why it shouldn't be made. But you're saying the opposite. You don't understand the chiddush even. <laughs> okay, no shine. But that's bottom line is is the Gemara clearly holds that you have to know exactly what you're making the nether about. What you're what you have to know exactly what you're being matter. And if you don't know exactly what you're being matter, then it doesn't work. Why? Well, just look at the first few lines of Gemara. One second. Remember the Yani I saw the pasuk says. Um, Yoni Oisa, if he holds her back. So, Dafka, who that means he it's Dafka, meaning he has to know exactly who he's holding back. Kiheni, right? Remember the, the, the way the Mephir says it. Kiheni Avia Oisa, Dafka Oisa, who the Bina Shayim made for the shame Oisa Hane, there is Dafka. It has to be for that specific person and it has to be for that specific item. Otherwise, it doesn't work. It's Yako, it's much more like you. That the, it, without this pasuk, you would think like you. Uh, I'm saying the Gemara saying, saying we have a pasuk of a drasha. Iran goes through the whole shtickle terror about hakama hafara. It's much without the pasuk, you wouldn't come along and say that the hafara hakama wouldn't work. Right. No, I hear that. Okay. I thank you for I thank you for the support. Anyways, okay, we'll stop here because the 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 sugya. It's a short daf tomorrow. Anyways, Bez the Shem and. Uh, um, um, it's a it's a relatively easy sugya, but basically what comes out with tomorrow is that it's uh, the Gemara is going to say it has to do with it has to do with um, uh, if he wants to change if he changes his mind within toif kedei dibur right he's matter for the dates and then they tell no 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 not dates great oh great okay if he does it within three seconds then it works okay it's a it's a whole sugya so it's a gishmak sugya but anyways the yeah, episode so my, of I mean, my, my, my brother, I know, remember, as you always say, your position. I remember the great mice of my brother told me, I can't remember who it was with. It was a big tzaddik and people were online to, for brachas. And there was a young man who never didn't have any children. So he went for bracha for, for, for children. So the rabbi put his head down and he was, he was doing all kinds of stuff for, for like 10, 15, for a long time, not just for a minute, you know. So the guy got scared, he got nervous, and he ran away. When the rabbi picked up his hand, his head, there was a man in front of him, a 70-year-old man, and the rabbi picked up his head, he says, you mask him, you're gonna, it's going to work, you're going to have. And he talked, I had his son. My brother said it was famous, I don't know where, that this man was 70 years older than one of his sons, yeah. I, I can't remember who it was, he told me this so many years ago, the story, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I guess, yeah. So you need to know who you think is how you brought. All right, good enough.
You gotta know. You gotta know. Honest, you're about guy seven college. years old, he should consult with his wife first. <laughs> oh, well, the older gentleman was not looking for a broker for a child. He had children already. He was looking for something else. Uh, <laughs> you, can't, you can't mix up. That's like, uh, you know, it says in the that don't skip Sukkot to Zimra because then all the Tsrairas go on. The, the, not Tsrairas, the uh, Tsinar. Tsinar is going up to Shemayim, go out of whack. You know what I mean? So you may ask us one thing and get another. All right. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, all right. Uh, it's the uh, I, yeah. I thought there was another there was another Kiddush here, even the way you're learning it. When did he find out that he got the wrong nether? Could be a week later. So his 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 24 hours is from when? From when he found out there was a nether that he knew a week ago. So his 24 hours should be over. I forgot yeah. to discuss that, right? He's saying when does he have to he gets that he has a new hours. 24 hours. From when he finds out what the starts real again. nether was. Well, that's the machlekes, no, Garishin? We said that's a big machlekes. No, that's Wait. coming up in the next Mishnah. Didn't we that's say it was a Shiloh? If, yeah, if he's Mayfer, if he if he didn't know about the nether, he didn't know about the, the Mayfer. Yeah, that's coming up in the next Mishnah. That'll be the next big fight. Yeah. That's where he knows nothing. Anyway. But Tiago... No, there's two cases. There's two cases. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm getting very confused with your whole thing with uh, with Tvila B'tzibur. If you're davening Shemayin Esrei and you don't show up by the fr- I always thought if you show up to davening and the, 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 the Tzibur is already past the first bracha, it's not considered Tvila B'tzibur if you join. Even if you have enough time to finish uh, before, yeah. well, let's say you have enough time to finish uh, uh, Who's What's the Sfardi Rav? That's the Rav. Who's the Sfardi The big Sfardi Rav in Hanover. He was uh... Avadi Yosef says that even if even if the Tiba do it Ashrei Vol Tzi and he daven Shrei Tzi it's still the Tiba. Yeah, I, yeah, I would true. assume you have to start. You have to be. There's stuff to okay. be. Let's broaden. Okay, so Akiva, Akiva, you're going with the Shitas Chazanish. Everybody. I, I, that's that, what I always assumed was Pshat. No, you're a Chazanish. You're a Chazanish, Nick Akiva. I give uh, up. I just daven by myself if I miss it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm no. joking. I'm joking. So know, you could have Tzila with Tiba as long as they're doing Shemayin Esrei. Anyway, of course. Rav Meishe, others. I don't remember the whole list. Rav Vadi Yosef for sure. Um, is davening Shmona Esrei. When you're davening, you're yotze tefila b'tzibur. Rav Chaim, Rav Chaim Kanevsky is very stark, like what you're saying. If you're not there, if you're not davening in the first bracha, then you're not mekayim tefila b'tzibur. But almost everybody else disagrees, which I hope. Isn't there a whole stable tar about that? Isn't there a whole stable tar about that? That there's sirif. If you join and then another person comes after you and you're all joining the first bracha within the same within the next person's um, yeah so that yeah okay that's that's a sub I think I think like well, you're you say it's only really according right? to that sheet though I don't think that works according to the chazanish I don't think no I thought that's what, that's the whole point that even according to the chazanish you need to join within the first bracha as long as there's one person that's still on the first bracha you could be mitzvah with that person. And then it continues. You're you're the next person that continues that chain, I guess. Um, oh, that you know what I'm talking about. I heard that as a much bigger chiddush. I thought Rav Shlaim Zalman says that it, as long as one person starts, while there's still someone for the tzibur davening. In other words, <clears throat> right? Okay, so it's the same idea, right? You're saying tzibur right. either way, uh-huh. right? Right. It could be they apply that to the chazanish also. Right. I don't know. Right, you're saying you heard that only by Shlom Zaman, meaning in the more makel division. Right, much more makel. In other words, Starting if someone right. starts <laughs> davening while while the shlich tzibur is saying maidim, that's still called tefila b'tzibur. And you could still latch on to that person if, let's say nobody's right. around, let's say there's no tzibur. Same thing. That's a huge chiddush. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. Rabbi, your, your, your flight's delayed. Yes, I know. My flight not half half hour delayed if I'm lucky. Yeah, if I'm lucky. Yeah. Uh oh. What time is your flight? No, play? it's the, the weather in New York was crazy, so it left everything left late. Uh huh. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna sign off so I can get myself rolling over here. All right, I'll see you. Right. I'll see you soon. Hard right. to hate. Right. Have a good night. Hard to hate. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, Zagazant. Yeah, she called it. Go ahead.